Nova, is that? It's an airwave! Hey Nova, how are you? I love it, it says I love your dad's music. Cause this note is written to Cecilia. It says, hi Cecilia. Hope you have a great day. I hope you like the bracelet I made you. So am I wearing Cecilia's bracelet, Nova? Wow, all right, okay, I see how it is. All right, I get it. I wrote this song for Cecilia's mom.
Orlando, you know how to party, there's no question about that. So, uh, so here's the thing, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little spiel. Uh, I, I don't want to reduce it to that because it, it means a lot to me. I think, I think the reality of this, this, this road that I've been on, that I've been afforded the ability to, to change my name three times and still somehow you all watch the show. That's all born of a curiosity, right? It's born of this, this desire to, to keep hunting down uh, inspiration and music that moves me, things that, uh, you know, landscapes to tell my story. Uh, and, and, and I have been very fortunate to, to have you all along for that journey. Um, Woo! Yeah! Woo! As I get into like what is now, I think, nine studio records and a whole couple of EPs and multiple band names, I will admit it gets scary to make a set list. <laughs> Um, and it gets even scarier to, to debut new music when I know so many of you love so many of my old songs. Um, but what I will tell you is that that was just the shit I was doing from day one. I mean, making new songs and hoping that people would show up and listen to those songs. So like, throughout the night as I venture into, into some of the, 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 the tunes off of, of Tilt at the Wind No More, which is my newest record. If you haven't heard it yet, maybe this will inspire you to check it out. Uh, just know that this feels a lot like being a teenager at a high school party where I found the piano and I'm sitting there like burying my soul and hoping y'all will listen to and like my music. Appropriately, this song is, uh, is about that moment in life when I got my first driver's license and what it was like to be driving around in a car with my homies. Like, you know, we would get out of school on a Friday and we would just drive until Sunday night when the curfew came, you know? And, and, uh, and that's when I wrote a lot of the first songs. So I think this record's really a reflection of uh, those days as well. It's called Lie I'm on the Hood of Your Car. Yeah! 